your boy Kachi coming to you Okay, now we are underway as far as with Spectres of the Rail in development for the PS4. Now, as you all know, based on the last stream, as far as with, uh, you know, Drew, he pretty much gave us the good info. And practically, I have it right here in front of me, so I might as well read it to you guys right now. Because I was just saying to one of my friends on the PS4, I was like, man... Stop talking about Spectres of the Rail. Get the development and work, all that stuff, because we want the Spectres of the Rail to drop. And right on cue, as soon as I went to the PS4 section of Warframe.com, I see just that. And here it goes, as it states. We're getting very close to cutting a build for Spectres of the Rail Hotfix 13. It's essentially that we're looking at plus or minus a few things. So you'll be getting all the latest changes when Void 2.0 hits consoles. Spectres of the Rail also includes the massive solar map rework, Arcwing overhaul, market overhaul, cavets, and a lot more. I'll keep this thread updated with new info as we make progress. Now, obviously that was posted 10 hours ago. Obviously... This is the 27th of July, and I've been saying this for like a good week or two, that we are going to get this update. The time on it is practically when. Some people said late July. I've been saying it like August. Early August, mid-August at the very latest. But with this update, it's going to be a whole bunch of changes coming in. As I said, solar map rework, arcwing overhaul, market overhaul, cavats, and a lot more. A lot of people are really excited about the cavats or what they could do as far as with the mods you could put on them, the crit that they'll be able to deal out and, you know, dish out. Obviously, you got the market overhaul where they're going to change the whole, you know, the whole perspective is how the marketplace is going to look. Practically, the look of it. Different, everything else, you know, you can still get access to. It'll still look somewhat the same, but obviously it's going to be different. You know, the Arcwing overhaul, the Arcwing is going to be, in my opinion, revamped. That's how I like to describe it. It's going to get revamped. It's going to get touched up and whatnot. It's going to look really really good for a lot of people that like to play arcwing me i'm just like okay i'm still not gonna bother with it <laughs> you know but the solar map rework you know obviously the void system is gonna be reworked gonna be touched and whatnot the solar map is gonna look completely different you know you get to access the planets you know and the nodes much more easier you get to see it clear as day obviously you know some of the stuff is going to be changed. Obviously, we already know based on looking at the PC. You know, Draco is going to be turned into like a mini survival. You know, lower to mid-tier level. You know, and obviously the void is going to be changed. You know, you got your relics. You got your fissures. And you got the whole void system is going to be cut up into four different um, modes. It's not going to be tier um, T1, T2, T3, T4. It's going to be called different names. I'm going to put those names in the description of this video because obviously off of the top of my head, I'm trying to think of it. I think one of them is called Axie, Neo, and whatnot. The other two, you know, it's it just slipping my mind right now. But I'll get I'll get those names obviously soon enough. I'll put it in the description. See, I'll know what I mean as far as with the, the different tiers and whatnot. So this is going to be a huge, you know, update coming in. And I have a feeling, obviously, we're going to get um, weapons to go along with this as well. Because all I need is a few weapons, and I'm going to go right to Mastery, ranked um, 22. And, you know, I'm going to check out the Marketplace, obviously. It's going to be different, so I'm going to have to get used to how the Marketplace is. The Kavats, you already know. I barely use my Kubros. But as far as with the Kavats... I will give them a chance. 
<laughs> okay? I will give them a chance. And based on how I pe hear, um, the base how I've been hearing people talk about the Kavats as far as with the PC on Warframe and how the Kavats are just a flat out beast, you know, you put the right mods on them, they just be critting like a motherfucker. I'm gonna be like, all right, it's gonna be all good. So I'm looking forward to this update. Some people are not looking forward to it, obviously, because of how shit is gonna change. It's not gonna benefit, you know, their style of play or whatever. Bottom line is that. They're making this update, obviously, so that the new players could enjoy the game. Because, think about it. They want more people to play the game. They're going to cater to the new players and more. And they're going to... They'll still cater to the veterans, but they'll cater more to the new players. Because if the new players or the new people coming in, if they don't like the game, they'll be like, fuck it, I'm not going to bother with it. They want more people to come and play the game. Um... They want people to enjoy it. So, in order to do that, they have to make the game easier. And since, with the new Void system, getting prime parts and whatnot is going to be easier. Less of a grind, less of RNG always getting in the way of getting the part that you need. Now, it's going to be easier. So, looking forward to this update. Like I said, I have a feeling it's going to be coming out in August, most likely. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Spectres of the Rail is coming. It is coming.